Yeah. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a how to swim faster. Yeah, so we've already got a how to run faster video. Uh, if you haven't um, looked at that already, please do. But this is a how to swim faster video uh, because we've had a request from one of our viewers. So thanks very much for requesting a video. And this is it's what we get up to. Different from the how to run faster, with the relation of VO2 max being engine size and your body being the car, swimming is in water and you don't have to battle gravity. Instead, the biggest factor is how efficient you are in gliding through the water. Harry's swim coach, Big Chris, runs through this particular session as it aims to improve his swimmer's second 50 of a 200 race. Obviously that may not be the sort of training you're looking to improve, but from talking to his coach, today I look to break down the logic behind a threshold training set so you can apply it to your program and hopefully improve your swimming speed for your desired distance. Before we get into the training set, Big Chris enforces on three main things. The first thing is properly warm up. Your warm up should be ranging between 40 and 50 minutes. It sounds long, but it's definitely worth it. The second is technique, but I will talk more about this later. And the third thing is get the blood pumping. Get your heart rate up before going into your first main set. Similar to the how to run faster video, if you want to swim faster, you need to introduce some form of interval training. That's in the pool, not on the track. This type of training is introduced to push your lactic threshold, allowing you to hold high speed for longer periods of time. Before I explain how to figure out your training particulars, you'll want to know that you should be doing this sort of training one to two times a week, depending how serious you are about training. This being said, please don't neglect other training, as threshold training should only be 20% of your training plan. So how do you figure out what distance, what speed, and what times you should be looking to do these sets? The first thing you want to do is identify your distance. In Harry's case, he does a 70.3 half Ironman. Say he wants to swim that 1.2 miles in 24 minutes at open water, then that would work out around 100 meters per 80 seconds. Not that Harry will train threshold at 100 meters, but use that time for the 100 meters as a time basis to estimate your time for your desired distance. So how do you figure out how fast you should swim for 100 meters? 1,900 meters, your distance, divided by your time, 24, equals your answer. This is how many seconds you would want to swim 100 meters. So 0 0.8 is your answer for what you will be timesing by your optimal training distances. Optimal training distance will range between one quarter of your distance being the lower end and just under your distance at the higher end. In Harry's case for 1900 meters, you'll be looking at distances of 400, 800, 1200, 1500. These are basic rounded down times as you won't swim 440 meters. So your previous answer times by your optimal training distance and then divided by 60 equals your estimated times, which will give you estimates of time for that precise training distance. Now you've figured out your estimate times for your precise train distance, you'll then want to consider that open water is slightly harder and turns in a pool make you go faster. You'll want to subtract about 15 seconds per 400 meters or adjust this 15 seconds to something more realistic that suits your standards. It sounds like a lot of work, but once you've figured it out, it's done. And until you've improved your race speed, you won't have to do it again. Once you've figured out the distance and the time you want to do it in, it's nearly time for you to jump in the pool. Bear in mind that this results in one set, and I'm afraid one set is not quite enough. Look to repeat this multiple times. A range of 4 to 10 is good, but depending again how serious you are about your swimming and how far your set distance is. So take them into consideration. You'll then want to proceed to keeping rest times around 20 to 30 seconds, long enough for you to recover from the lactate, but short enough to keep your heart rate high. Before chucking you in the deep end, if you pardon the pardon, <laughs> I want to just remind you what Big Chris said at the beginning. When training in this zone, the swimmer must never train to fatigue or compromise stroke length for speed. Make sure you're as efficient as possible in the water and focus on that technique. Here are a few last minute tips for scenarios you might find yourself in. If it's too hard, times get slower and your heart rate remains the same, just increase your rest time. If your times get slower and your heart rate increases, at this point be careful. Try increasing rest time, but if that doesn't work, amend your set approach as you don't want to overtrain. On a more positive 
positive note, if your times remain the same, but your heart rate gets higher, don't change anything, because this means you're doing it correctly. If you find it too easy, increase the pace, but keep the rest the same. Please note that the first couple of sets may be easier, but you want to last them all. Remember, it is lactose threshold training. You are looking to produce peak or close to peak lactose on each swim. This means it is going to hurt. Without it hurting, you're not going to get any better. Enjoy the pain. Or learn to enjoy the pain, if that's possible. I'm not really sure. Harry and I hope this helps your training. If you found this visible useful, please give us a like, as it does really help the channel. And maybe subscribe if you're new. We'd also like to say a big thank you to Big Chris. Everything he's done, and good luck to him as he moves on with his next endeavours as his swim coach. We hope you enjoy the video, and definitely give it a like if you do. Subscribe if you haven't yep. already. And if you've got more uh, video ideas that you want to pass our way, please do. Mm. Um, because we're always interested in what you guys want to see or what content you want or whatever. Um, and yeah, comment, see what you think about the video and subscribe and everything else you guys are doing. Yeah. Follow yeah. us on social media, whatever. Tell, tell your mum, tell your dad, oh, tell, tell your friends, tell your granny. Share it on Facebook. Um, <laughs> Granny's a good one, yeah. Get, yeah. get Harry and Chris sticker on your car. Um, we, don't, we haven't even got those yet, but, but we will get those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Uh, we'll um, see you in the next one. Yeah, see you in the next video, guys.